Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will find an equation of the radical axis of circles. But before we find an equation of the radical axis of circles, let us first define radical axis. So when we have when we say radical axis, so here are the illustrations of different circles. So we have here two circles. This is the center of the circles. This is the radius. This is also the radius. Therefore, its radical axis This is perpendicular, therefore that is 90 degrees and this is now its radical axis. Therefore, this radical axis is a line. Therefore, if we're asked to find an equation of the radical axis, we are also asked to find the equation of the line. Okay, so again, we have two circles here. Therefore, draw a line and this is now its radical axis. So that is the radical axis. We have another, circle, another set of circles here. Let us again draw a line connecting their center okay therefore this is our radical axis and this is the intersection of our circle for this one it is only tangent therefore there is only one intersection for this one for this one we have two intersections and for this one we do not have an intersection so what is now the formula to compute for an equation of a radical axis? So if we're asked to compute for an equation of the radical axis, given two equations of the circle, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Therefore, the formula for the equation of the radical axis is very simple. The formula is just S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. And this is how we get the equation of the radical axis. Again, we just subtract equation 1 from equation 2 of a circle. So, what are the conditions in which we could try to solve for an equation of the radical axis of circles? So, let's now have here an example. Always remember that for an equation of a circle, the equation should be in general form. Okay, remember step number one, the equations of the circle should be in general form. Is this in general form? It is not yet in general form. Therefore, what do we need to do? We need to expand. Okay, we need to expand. Therefore, this becomes x squared minus 1 plus, let's expand y plus 2 squared. That becomes y squared plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 3. We'll now be having x squared, then we have plus y squared. Since we do not have x, this becomes plus y, plus 4y, I mean. And then we all have the constants, that is negative 1, plus 4. Since positive 3 is on the right side, we transfer that to the left side. And this becomes negative 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, for our equation 1, this becomes x squared plus y squared plus 4y minus 1 plus 4 minus 3. Therefore, that becomes negative 1 plus 4 is negative a uh, positive 3. Positive 3 minus 3 is just 0. Therefore, it is now equal to 0. And this becomes our S1. Is that clear? Okay. And for the second one, we have x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus y minus 2. Therefore, this is our S2. Okay, so let us again write S1. Our S1 is x squared plus y squared plus 4y is equal to 0. This is our S1. And always remember that for radical axis, we have S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. If this is S1, let us now subtract S2. What is our S2? Our, X, our S2 is in general form. It becomes x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus y since we do not have x variable for the first equation okay minus 2 is equal to 0 what do we do now this is subtraction therefore 
minus. x squared minus x squared cancel. y squared minus y squared cancel. 4y minus y, that becomes 3y. Okay, is this clear? Since we do not have x here, we just have here minus negative 3x. Therefore, that becomes plus 3x. We will only distribute the negative x in here. Okay, negative times negative 2, that becomes positive 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, let us now arrange. It is also equal to 3x plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. And this is now the equation of the radical axis of that two circles. Okay? So, let's have another example. Since we now know the formula that S1 minus S2 is equal to 0, we will still be applying this to our second example. And for our second example, we are given x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y minus 20 is equal to 0. And x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 30 is equal to 0. This is our S1 and this is our S2. Our formula is S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. Since they are now arranged in such a way that we have x squared, y squared, x, y, and the constant, therefore we could now subtract s1 and s2 okay x squared minus x squared cancel out y squared minus y squared cancel out 4x minus 6x therefore that becomes negative 2x negative 10y minus minus 8 that becomes positive 8y so 10y plus 8y that becomes negative 2y Negative 20 minus positive 30, that becomes negative 50, is now equal to 0. Since they are negative, I will just multiply all terms by negative 1. Therefore, this becomes negative times negative, that becomes positive 2x. Negative times negative 2y, that becomes positive 2y. Negative times negative 50, that becomes positive 50, is now equal to 0. And this becomes our equation of the radical axis. Again, this is now the equation of the radical axis. All we have to do is to apply the formula S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's now have the last example. For the last example, we are given x squared plus y squared plus x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, it is an equation of a circle. We call that S1. For equation number 2 or for S2, we are given 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. We do not have variable y. But, is this applicable if we have coefficients of x squared and y squared? Yes or no? The formula is still applicable. S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. But, we should express this in such a way that there is no coefficients of x squared and y squared. And what do we do now? Let us write x squared plus 3y squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. What do we do in order for x squared and y squared to just become x squared and y squared? Therefore, we need to divide this by its coefficient. And what is its coefficient? The coefficient is 3. We need to divide all the terms by 3. Divide this by 3. 3x three squared divided by 3, that becomes x squared. 3y squared divided by 3, that becomes y squared. Negative 4x divided by 3, therefore that is negative 4 thirds x. Negative 12 divided by 3, therefore that is negative. Negative 12 divided by 3, that is negative 4, is now equal to 0. This is our S1. This is our S2. What is our formula? That is S2. That is S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. Again, so let us write S1. That is x squared plus y squared plus x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. And for our S2, we'll be having x squared plus y squared minus 4 thirds x. Since we do not have y, we'll be having negative 4 is equal to 0. What do we do now? We subtract. Okay? Minus. X squared minus X squared, that is 0. Y squared minus Y squared, that is 0. X minus minus 4 thirds X. Therefore, that becomes X plus 4 over 3X. 
Since we do not have a variable y for the second equation, therefore, we'll be having negative y minus 0, that is minus y. Plus 2 minus minus 4, therefore, that becomes positive 6 is now equal to 0. Okay, we now have here x and x, therefore, we combine. Okay, the LCD is 3, therefore, this becomes 3x and this becomes plus 4x. Minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. We'll now be having 3x plus 4x, therefore that becomes 7x over 3 minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. Since there is a fraction, we should express this in other terms. Therefore, we need to multiply by its denominator and that is 3. Multiplying 3 to all the terms, we'll be having 3 times 7 over 3, we cancel out 3, therefore that becomes 7x. 3 times negative y, that is minus 3y. 3 times positive 6, that is positive 18, is equal to 0. And this is now the equation of the radical axis of these circles. So, our, again, our formula for our radical axis is just we subtract the two equations. S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have suggestions, do not hesitate to message me on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. Once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.